Who? What if I told you that you are heir to a multi-million dollar company? Heir? Bro, what are you talking about? What is that? Well, it means that your dad owns a company that's worth millions and one day it will all be yours. Oh, my father? Multi-million dollars is gonna be mine? Wow. I could buy me a new car, new house, some new chains. But only if I knew my father. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, G, but that's not the case. But now that you know the meaning of heir, what if I told you that we are heir to a history of slavery? What? Slavery? Man, I like the first idea. Wait, 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 wait. It's because I'm black? Man, you messed up, man. I would take the first option, man. But here's the good news. In the Bible, it says that we, us, will inherit more greater things, more valuable than money. Check this out. Galatians 4, 7. So you are no longer slaves, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has also made you an heir. Ephesians 1, 11 to 14. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance, and he makes everything work out according to his plan. God's purpose was that we Jews, who were the first to trust in Christ, will bring praise and glory to God. And if we believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that he will bring us the inheritance he promised, and he has purchased us to be his own people. He did this so that we will praise and glorify him. Hebrews 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah was warned about things not yet seen. By holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. Romans 8, 17. And since we are his children, we are his heir. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Titus 3, verse 7. Because of his grace, he made us right in his sight and gave us confidence that we will inherit eternal life. Galatians 3.29 If you belong to Christ, then you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heir, and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God rose from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Psalms 91 verse 14 to 16. And God said, I will rescue those who love me, protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in troubles. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with long lasting lives and give them my salvation. Hey. Psalms 91 verse 1, 2, 3. Psalms 91 verse 1, 2, 3. Whoever lives in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shelter of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. Wow, that's the best inheritance right there. I am proud to be a child of God. If you want to be a child of God, say this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come to my heart and life. I want to trust you follow you and choose you as my Lord and Savior. Amen.